Uh, ready to go. A couple questions here I want to answer really quick. So, of course, you came up about using Control C. I've talked about this a lot before. It's actually a, uh, one of the original sources of drama between uh, uh, the Primagian and I. Uh, the Primagian is a huge fan of using Control C uh, when doing VI to edit things. And I find that to be a disastrously bad idea. Here's why. Uh, you see that? I just typed uh, Control C, yeah? Uh, okay, so the look at that. It, it's been mapped all over to different things. It, it, it's 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 just a really really bad idea. <laughs> okay, depending on the terminal you're using and stuff like that. And so, my short answer is, um, a Control C is used for escape sequences. In fact, it is specifically is to send an interrupt. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you kill dash L, and you'll see that to send a sig int to a program, uh, you do control C. Um, now the person that said, so, so I mean, really this is like, well, what's the alternative to escape? Now, nobody goes up there and hits escape. I mean, if you're doing that, you, you haven't been around long enough and you need to like look at an alternative, but it's not control C, okay? So just please promise me, you at least consider not using control C. Uh, control C will send an interrupt. It'll cause all kinds of problems. It doesn't work on all versions of EI and VIM. Uh, it, it's just, it's a completely bad idea. Uh, if you want to be good with VI, every place that VI exists, which I assume you do, uh, if not, fine, use whatever. Uh, a lot of people didn't know it was a thing, thank God. Uh, somebody discovered this on accident. So what are the alternatives to using escape? Because escape is like going to give you, you know, carpal tunnel on your pinky or something. So the most obvious, uh, alternative is control left bracket. Control left bracket uh, which takes two pinkies. They don't have to stretch as far. Control F bracket gives you everything you need. And there's actually, I, I learned on the stream, there's actually Europeans who have a keyboard that makes it very hard to do Control F bracket. And they'll actually use Americanized keyboards for Control F bracket. Um, and that is that literally sends the exact equivalent of, of, of pressing the escape key, which unnecessarily has been banished up into the far left and on a Mac and for years. It wasn't even, or at least a year, it wasn't even on the keyboard anymore. And that's really sad considering that the escape key, and this is another option, used to be where the caps lock key is. So unless you're uh, a, a lawyer, an accountant, or an angry Trump supporter on Twitter, you don't need caps lock. You just don't need it. So remap caps lock, preferably in your hardware. There are keyboards now that you can get that will let you do a little thing and you have software and firmware and everything. So modern keyboards are really cool and they will let you remap uh, your caps lock in any place that you use that keyboard uh, to be escape. That is the same thing your pinky would normally do. So if you're already used to escape, your pinky just doesn't have to travel as far. It's already right there on it. And then, you know, you, you got that great option and that can, you can build it into your muscle memory. Just make sure you have that keyboard with you everywhere, which is more of an option these days. There was a time when I wouldn't recommend doing anything, any kind of remapping. People remap, for example, JK really quickly on Vim, which only works in Vim and creates horrible muscle memory that doesn't work anywhere else, but your very customized version of Vim. And that defeats the whole purpose of Vim, at least the, the purpose to me which is to be good anywhere that there's vi uh and and it's also you know i mean my main argument against neovim i'm not against neovim if you want to use even fine just make sure that you can still use what you burn into your fingers muscle memory when you get on a system that doesn't have neovim like yeah that is my main contention people say i'm a neovim hater i'm really not uh i'm just the people that use neovim haven't considered uh all the needs of the people who have, you know, more than one computer who have to be on all the time. And in the containerized world today, you know, you're constantly going to be doing that. You're going to, they're going to install NeoVim on your, you know, Octeta uh, container and Kubernetes, like which is what we did yesterday. You're going to do su apt install Vim, right? Or Vim, or whatever. Uh, you know, so it's good to get, I think you should progressively get good in the first letter you should learn is Vim. Even if you decide to use Emacs or NeoVim, or all of those other things later. Those are the ways to go to do all that thing. So, so that is the answer to that question. Don't use Control C. Uh, you don't have to give people shit for it if they use it. I've stopped doing that. I used to go, oh my god, that's so unprofessional, and I still consider it very unprofessional. Uh, what I at one point I think I even said, God, I would you could get fired for using Control C. I mean, you can get fired for using Control C because oh no, I I use Control C for everything, and I automatically interrupted a core process while I was in the middle of it because I used Control C instead of Escape. 
bad idea, right? Also, not uh, also the same reason to not use nano. Nano teaches you very bad habits. It teaches you to use control for everything. Control this, control that, control that to get out, to save, to do everything. And and so you get out there. I've seen I've seen beginners do this. I've seen beginners go out and try to edit something. And they're like, hmm, they get stuck. They get stuck in an infinite loop or something like that. And then they end up totally freezing their terminal and everything because they, they experiment around and they do control S or control Q, which we, you know, know is a horrible thing. I'll let you go figure out what that does on your own. <laughs> That's usually when people get stuck in VI. It's usually because they did control S and they've totally frozen their terminal and they, they've suspended the terminal. They have no idea how to get out of it. They can't even type anymore. And so they turn their computer off. That that's where that joke comes from. Because and, and by the way, that is made worse by Nano because Nano gets you into the habit of doing that. Uh, yeah, Control Control S is it's not is is Control S is suspend actually. <laughs> Pretty sure, right? Watch me do it. No, yeah, no Control. Uh, I can't remember. Is it Z? I think it might be Z. It's Z. Yeah, and then it's Control Q to get it back. It's Z. It's Control Z. Control S is your interrupt. Yeah, I would never remap that. that that's a horrible idea. I can't overstress how bad that idea is. If you want to do it, that's fine. If you're a free agent. You can do whatever you want. The best thing to do is to remap caps lock, in my opinion, or to use control of bracket, which takes no modification whatsoever. Uh, but if you're, you know, uh, in a, a European who has to do crazy gymnastics to even hit control of bracket, which, you know, is a thing, then you might want to just do the whole thing. Or, you know, Find what works for you in your specific case. Maybe you don't care. You're just on the same computer all the time, in which case you might want to think about Emacs or something like that. But, yeah, you, know, you know, make your own decision. But but just do not use Control-C because it's dangerous. I mean, it's it's downright dangerous to use it. So that's my piece there. I'm going to get I'm going to get crap for this in the comments, but leave your comment. Yeah, your trash comment below. Uh, that's fine. <laughs>